So what happens to worker productivity if people are working from home? Our panel back. I know you guys have either thought about this or had to deal with it already. Forget about the virus. Daniel, you work. You were telling us pretty much from home, right? So Yes, I work from home, and it definitely does improve my productivity. Improves it? I, I think it does. Less distractions, right? But I'm lucky. Most people can't work from home. You have right. people from companies like Amazon and Microsoft, perhaps they can, but what about the middle class? What about the servers and restaurants and retail workers? They can't do that. That is obviously the uh, the the industry that you're in, yes. um, you know, obviously determines a lot of this. But, Paul, for those who can, the question of whether they're more or less productive, I mean, have you looked at any of the numbers on this or have any views on this? Yeah. Um, Big, bigger corporations, especially global corporations or corporations that have people in many cities, uh, they've, they've been pretty used to a lot of uh, um, uh, home wor people working at home and people traveling you know, with their laptops sure. and doing just as much work. And there have been study after study that basically says there's, there's, there may even be a slight gain in productivity. So big corporations have a lot of experience in this. Ever since 9-11, especially here in this country or it, in this city, it's something we've thought about. Uh, something we did, Jack, after that a lot in those cases, especially the first few weeks uh, for those who you know, weren't covering it directly or whatever the case may be, were, were, were there working from home on Wall Street and other places. So sure. people have done it before. A uh, Stanford study actually found a huge boost in productivity right. uh, over it's a two-year right? period. It's a pretty robust study over, over a two-year period. And the market is clearly betting this way. Zoom Zoom communications is up 70 percent year to date. Which is a company um, that you can for uh, teleconferencing. Teleconferencing. Yeah, exactly. right. So clearly, there's that bet. Now, the reality is, some people have maybe have children at home or other issues where it's a little tougher to get to get as much work done. But I think on balance, it will be fine. What but, do you think about the permanency of it? Or do you have a view on that? Like whether or not companies say to themselves, they didn't do this necessarily after 9/11, but if they say it after, you know what? We're saving some dough here and people are still getting the work done. A lot of the, some of this becomes permanent. Absolutely. And you look at the real estate savings that they could accrue if they really make it permanent. True. That said, look, a lot of managers just are not comfortable with that idea. They want people in the office. So I don't see a huge sea change. See, I thought there was a move. You're right. I thought there was a move back towards being in the office, especially in recent years. And the term that was always used was collaboration. Right. Um, yes. You know, and, and many companies feel that way. You hear leaders of companies, Paul shaking his head, <laughs> but you don't think there's an importance on the fact of being able Able to collaborate, meet with people in person, and, and talk it through. Technology has, has solved that problem. I mean, people are uh, communicating, texting, and, and using uh, Zoom, Zoom and, other and, things, and sure. other things like that. And, and so everybody does that. Uh, I mean, if you work for a large company where you're, com you're, you're working with people in different cities, that's yeah. the only way to do it. But it makes it so easy. And I think it's technology that's, that's driving this and has There's been. There's two sides, right? You're either in a meeting too long when you're in the <laughs> office or maybe on Zoom you can shut it off sooner. But the, uh, to be serious, a lot of technology in other places, mm -hmm. CEOs have tried it and come back and said, no, 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 we need people in person to collaborate more. Do you miss it? I do think it's important and I love working from home because I feel like I can get a lot of work done, but yeah. when I need to collaborate with my team, I have to go and be in the office and that's when I can really get things done in a, a team building environment. And so I think that it's really difficult to say that everything can be done from home. I do think that you need to be in person to some extent. He's not convincing Paul at all. <laughs> He's just keeps shaking his head there. He's fine. He's going to work from anywhere. Quick uh, clarification or in addition to our reporting on New Rochelle here in New York, it looks like a one mile zone is the radius of what they're calling a containment zone. This is the suburb just north of New York City that Governor Cuomo made the announcement about trying to contain the virus. The one mile radius is centered around a synagogue in New Rochelle, which is believed uh, to be at the center of the cluster of coronavirus cases there. The National Guard is being used in terms of enforcement. Again, people can come and go. Some local businesses will remain open, but schools and other places where people gather, synagogues would be another example, apparently are closing down, as Governor Cuomo announced a little earlier today.